Hey everybody, it's Josh. Starting to rain pretty good outside again, so I figured I'd just do my video in the car. My, my uh, phone kept getting wet. My body has turned me into a meteorologist. I can feel every storm that's coming now, <laughs> like the night before. It's, uh, it's nice. Yeah, nobody, nobody listens to me except for my dogs, though. We all complain to each other. We all sit there at night and moan and groan about our pain and aching. Let me tell you something. I've never been happier in my life. I have my mother, my father, my uncle, both my dogs, a lot of my best friends, uh, they have their parents all probably not long to live and you are probably sitting there saying oh you sound like a crazy person saying you've never been happier in your life and I guess that's maybe the wrong way to state it but it's true and the reason I'm happy is not because it's some sort of joy like oh yay we're going to an amusement park or we're gonna have something fun coming up a, a fun vacation yay i am happy because god saved me god allowed me to be a vessel a servant for him and i don't know if you understand what that feels like. When you have lost every sort of purpose and meaning in your life, I pray that, that you haven't gone through that. And in a way, <clears throat> I pray that you <clears throat> can find this purpose and this meaning through Christ without having to go through this. Unfortunately, <clears throat> excuse me, I've never met anyone who has been born again who hasn't been bro broken completely. I've been scouring the internet, talking to everyone I meet, and there's very few people who've been born again very few it's a select group in an earlier video I, I compared it to when you are saved by Christ you you definitely go through struggles you definitely go through some stuff and you feel that peace and you feel that compassion and love but when you're born again it is something completely different. When you are born again, it is like the special forces. Like you're going through hell week. Only it lasts so long. And you say to yourself, I, I know, I know what it sounds like. You say to yourself, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> you, you freaking nuts. <laughs> it's. Let me tell you something. I don't have the fear of death anymore. My job is clear. It is, a, it is to allow the Holy Spirit to work through me to find every lost soul that needs saving. Now, I'm not out here trying to find people to go through this tribulation, through this crucible that I'm going through because I could not bear to see this suffering. But I'm looking for people who are in, already in the, <clears throat> excuse my French, in the shit. Already up to their chest in it. 
because <clears throat> there is so much more waiting for you. I know I sound like a broken record when I say those who suffer the most have the most profound purpose. And the reason for that is because the devil does not attack those he already has imprisoned. Sometimes he'll go and agitate you a little bit when you're in your prison cell. You don't even know you're in a prison cell. You don't even know you're a prisoner to his desires, his temptations. Think about Christ going through the desert and all he was offered. He was offered the world. Why? Because the devil knew he was the biggest threat. So don't you think, since Christ was an example for us, don't you think if you're going to be a servant of Christ and you're going to be a threat to him, he's not going to throw everything he can at you. And he might do it with temptation. He might do it with desire. But he knows most of us who've gotten to this point, we've seen the consequences of temptation and desire. We've seen the consequences of lust and addiction. And we're not giving into that anymore. Sure, we're, we're going to slip up. We're going to do it. Even, even those of us are, who are born again can't escape the hell of the comforts of this world. I, I surely can't. But I don't worship them. The difference between someone who is born again and, and someone who is not, and someone who is maybe just saved, maybe just has found salvation, or hasn't found salvation at all. The person who is born again does not want to live in perpetual sin anymore. We will do anything we can to not live in that perpetual sin. The person who has found salvation but has not been called to be this <laughs> zealot for Christ. And I say that in an endearing way because I am a zealot. I am a crazy person for Christ. I'm not going and doing what you think a zealot does. A zealot for Christ is a warrior of peace, of love. I spread as much love and as much peace as I can. Compassion and empathy, those are my weapons. And I wear the armor of God. And a more lukewarm Christian. And I, I want to stress there's, there's nothing wrong with having your salvation and giving thanks to God. Because even Christ said, this road is not for everyone. Giving up all you have all you hold dear, suffering like the Apostle Paul or Job in the Old Testament. Suffering like that is terrifying to most. I've been terrified a few times lately under a spiritual attack, left and right. But I do whatever I can to throw myself at Christ's feet. I always rely on the Holy Spirit now. I can't make these choices. I am, my life is forfeit. If you've known me before, I'm sorry that man is gone. I still have the memories and I still, I love you all more than I did then. I can guarantee it. 
I love you so much. No matter who you are. Because you are all souls that Christ loves. And he calls us to reflect that love on everyone else. He calls us to reflect the grace that he's shown us. That amazing grace that saved a wretch like me. I, <clears throat> I know it's not for everyone. I know it's not. And I'm not going to ask people to do what I'm doing in trying to surrender my entire life. But the one thing you have to understand is there's nothing better. There is no more fulfillment in life. There is no more purpose that you will ever find. You can look high and low and you will find nothing but false promises and lies. You are living in a world ruled by the king of lies. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. That's fine. I will pray for you. I wish you the best. Because I want you to be saved. I want you to find your salvation. I do. I want you only to be a zealot for Christ like I am. Only if you're ready. God will tell you if that is your purpose. God will tell you if if you feel like your life is so broken and so screwed up and so lost that you just don't you're not going to do it anymore. You don't want to do it anymore. Don't even think about ending it. Don't even think about being unworthy and unloved and how it's just broken you. Think about God. Just go anywhere you can find a peaceful place. Anywhere. I go to the woods. I go to nature. And I, I throw myself at his mercy. And as, I, as I've said many times before, I didn't believe. I believed, but I was, I was like, oh, that's something I've heard about, but I don't think it's real. And he saved me. <laughs> he gave me so much. And I can't explain it to you in words. It, it was so much. But if you're, if you're not to that point, okay. Uh, it doesn't mean you're less than anyone. No. Just because this is the path that I've been drawn to does not make me better than anyone. No. In fact... I was so unworthy, which is why I had to give myself to him. And if you feel that too, you can give yourself to him and he will give you so much. He will fill you with life for the first time. I never had life. I, I was walking around. But I was a damn zombie. I never lived until he saved me. And words cannot express. They never will be able to because it is only something you can feel. But please, 
If you're lost, if you're hopeless, if you're alone, you are not alone. You are being drawn to God. You are being deconstructed so you can be built back up again. I got to get going. I don't want to sit here and cry like a baby. <laughs> oh. But I just beg of you. If you're in that spot. Even if you only have days to live or hours to live. It doesn't matter. Throw yourself at his mercy. It's never too late. It's not too late. Till your heart stops beating, it's not too late. I know that you should not trust in man, but you have to take my word for it. What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. Your life was basically over. You didn't want to live it. I didn't want to live mine either. I loved my family. So I would have never ended it. But I did not want to live it. And he gave me so much. We are dead in our sins. We are walking dead until he gives us that life. All right, everybody, I got to go. I love you all so much. God bless.